Want to see exactly how much in dividends you'll collect or the stocks with the highest upside return to analyst target prices? How about a market heat map that shows you which stocks are booming right now? Hey, Bowtie Nation, Joseph Hogue here with the seven investing tools I use every week. Seven online investing tools I can't live without. All you out there in the nation are going to recognize many of these because I use them in videos all the time, but also some that you haven't seen because I use them for back-end research. Either way, these investing tools will make you a better investor, and they're all completely free to use. In fact, some of the apps offer special deals like free stocks, cash back, and free trials. The features I'm going to show you are all free though, so look for the link in the description below and check those out. This first free tool is my favorite for dividend investors. I've used Seeking Alpha Premium Access for years and showed you how to use the free stock screener last week. You're going to find pre-built screens or can create your own to help you find the stocks to buy. And most of this is free, but you're going to get extra functionality and the best analysis with that premium access. My favorite feature is totally free, the dividend analysis and estimator tool. I can go to any dividend stock. Here we'll use Coca-Cola as an example, and you're going to find this fundamental analysis to start you off. I can go straight to the financial statements or check out the stock valuation. The platform gives you both gap and non-gap, as well as trailing and forward expected numbers in most of these, pretty much slicing and dicing the fundamentals every which way. Where this really shines, though, is in the dividend information. You're going to find all the usual detail like dividend yield, growth, payout ratio, and dividend sustainability. But if you click over here to the right, this dividend estimates, you're going to find something I haven't seen on any other platform. Here it shows you the estimates for dividends per share out as much as two years. We can see Coca-Cola currently pays out about $1.84 per share of dividends, with analysts expecting it to increase to $1.92 next year, and then $2.03 per share through 2025. It's the only online tool I've found that helps you estimate how much you'll collect from your dividend stocks. There is a lot on Seeking Alpha to like, besides just that dividend estimator. From the portfolio tracking, analysis, and the news, you'll be able to sit in on a company's earnings announcements and attend webinars on how to invest. That dividend tool is free, but if you want to try out premium access, I'll leave a link in the video description below to a two-week free trial. Look for that link below and try it out for 14 days risk-free to see if you like it. And one of the best investing tools, especially for new investors, is the stock simulator on Webull. The paper portfolio feature gives you $1 million to trade and test out your ideas before you commit your own money. You can buy or sell stocks and options just as you would normally, track your profits in the portfolio or each stock, and learn how to trade. Within the app, you'll also get the stock screener we talked about last week and trading tools every investor needs. I like to use the technical indicators for buy points into my long-term stocks. It's a great way to test out investing before risking any of your own money. It's all fake money accounts, so it doesn't matter if you lose and it's totally free to use. You know, another new investing tool on Webull that I just started using is the Sage Tracker, tracking the investments of famous investors. It has Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway portfolio showing you his most bought stocks like Apple, Bank of America, and Occidental Petroleum, as well as which stocks Buffett has been selling. If you want a little bit more growth potential, you can look at Kathy Wood's ARK Invest portfolio with stocks like Tesla, Coinbase, and Square. Each portfolio is also connected to the investor's Twitter account to follow their messaging. There is a lot of info here from holding changes from quarter to quarter and portfolio performance. You can track portfolios from Vanguard along with hedge funds like Citadel Advisors and even the big short himself, Michael Burry. Webull has one of the most generous stock promotions you'll find, so I'm going to leave a link to that in the description as well. Even if you don't use the app, click through, get your free stocks, try out the app, and if you don't like it, take your free stocks and run. You'll also get cash back for transferring from another platform and earn 5% on any cash in your account. I've used E-Trade longer than any other platform, starting investing back in 1999 while still in the Marine Corps. There is no minimum to open an account, which means you're going to get access to all the tools and features and really don't even have to use the platform to invest. I use the market calendar each week to keep ahead of the earnings, stock splits, IPOs, and dividends. You'll be able to see the ex-dividend date, the amount, and when that dividend is going to be paid. The Sectors and Industry tab is another useful resource in drilling down from the top to see which groups of stocks are performing and then comparing the fundamentals. Picking stocks, you can come back to this to compare valuations, dividend yield, and other fundamentals against the industry average. What I really like about the site, though, is the stock level information, including earnings forecasts and history, and the best free research online. Click through the Analyst Research tab, and you're going to see price targets for stocks, the high and the low target, as well as the average. You can see individual analyst recommendations here and their success rate with the stock. Scroll down further, and there is a lot more research, both qualitative and quantitative. 
If Morgan Stanley covers the stock, you can click through here and download a full research report, including any past reports. And I understand this is a lot of investing tools to throw at you, but understand this isn't to say that you have to use any of them or you can't use all of them at all. These are totally free, so use the ones you like most, the ones that have the research and the tools that you need. Try them out, and a lot of these, it's gonna take less than 10 minutes a week to stay up to date on everything you need. Yahoo Finance is a great free tool, and with more information than most investors realize. It has one of the best ETF screeners around, as well as these other screeners, all free to use. Within each stock, you'll also find a lot of info across the top menu, including fundamental analysis and statistics. I love this historical data tab, a downloadable history of all the prices, dividends paid, and even the dividend adjusted price to help you see that total return on the stock. You're going to be able to see how the dividend has grown or been cut all the way back to the stock's IPO. My favorite research tool here though is the analysis tab. This tracks analyst estimates for earnings and revenue as well as the changes. Here we can see the current quarter estimates for profit as well as the current year and next year. Scroll down and you're going to see the same for revenue. You've got the high and low estimates as well as the growth rate in sales. Finally, you can see how these estimates have changed over the last 90 days. Have analysts been getting more bullish on the earnings or downgrading their estimates? We've still got two more free investing tools to highlight, two I use every single week for that big picture approach to investing. Using these research tools and picking the right stocks though means being able to narrow down your list. So make sure to check out the video here for the five best stock screeners I use with different strategies. This next investing tool will put you way ahead of the average investor, the FactSet Earnings Insight. And to find this, just go to Google search and it's usually the top result here. The Earnings Insight report is a free weekly report, opens up as a PDF in the browser, but I like to open it on desktop to make notes because this has a ton of information. FactSet surveys analysts on earnings expectations, then pairs that with what the companies actually report. So this is a great look at profits every quarter along with a lot of other really useful information. This always starts with a topic of the week, an in-depth look at the market. Here we see the companies with more international exposure, so higher foreign sales are reporting a massive decline in profits. The report explores that and backs it up with some graphs and which sectors are most at risk in this trend. You'll also see way more detail on earnings than you read in those short news reports, including which stocks and groups are surprising to the downside and which are missing their estimates. The report then outlines expectations for the rest of the year, what the market is expecting for earnings for the next few quarters, this year and the next year. You can then take these expectations, build them into your own forecast, or just question the market if it's gonna be surprised higher or lower when those earnings come out. There are so many charts and graphs here showing you the information in every way, including valuations, profit margins, and the trends in all of these. Honestly, there is more here than I ever use, but I do wanna highlight a couple of graphs here. First is the sector level forward PE ratios. This shows the current price to earnings ratios of the stocks in each sector against the long-term five and 10 year average ratios. So with this dark blue line here, you see the current valuation for stocks in that sector and you see if it's more or less expensive than those, how those stocks have traded in the past. A great way to get a feel for if stocks are cheap or expensive in each sector. You can also see the overall market PE ratio back 10 years, including the average for the last five and 10, giving you the opportunity to hedge when the market is expensive or jump in when it's cheap. And this last chart here is always the target price versus the closing price comparison. And it's a great way to see where the potential returns are in the market. This shows you the difference between the closing price of the stocks in each sector compared to their average target price by analysts. For example, this shows us that on average, analysts have target prices for stocks in the communication services sector that are 17% above the current closing price of those stocks. And this next investing tool I use every week in our Monday market update, but there is so much more here on sectorspiders.com than just that sector tracker. If you go here to tools in the menu, you're gonna find a heat map, an earnings calendar, and the great tracker that we use so much. This heat map shows you visually how each sector has performed over a day, a week, all the way up to five years. And if you click through, you're gonna see the same thing for each stock in the sector. The color coding really helps you see where the strength is and where you might want to avoid within each sector. The earnings calendar is great during those heavy weeks for quarterly reports. One problem I've always had with the E-Trade earnings calendar is it dates earnings for every company. So it can be a difficult list to grind through when there's thousands reporting in a week. Here are 295 companies reporting earnings on a single day. The spiders calendar here just shows those large cap stocks in the S&P 500 so it's a much more manageable list. And of course here, the sector tracker. This could be my favorite online investing tool. 
I love being able to see that big picture over these different dates to see if I can spot any trends, momentum, or weakness in a sector. In any of these, you can click through to see which stocks are in that sector, and from that big picture idea, you can start to drill down into research on individual stocks. Check out these free investing tools and the special offers with the links below, or click on the video to the right for the best stock screeners you'll find online. Stock screeners for every type of investor. Don't forget to join the Let's Talk Money community by tapping that subscribe button and clicking the bell notification.